Hello Troops and Toots, Gundar here and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Last time, we explored the basement area of, of the mansion, we avoided some sharks, we made um, a V jolt and we used it on some plant roots. And in this episode, we will actually get to find the root of what these roots were. So I'm going to equip my bazooka and I just want to check something, I can't remember if I can do it in this one but... No, I can't. Okay. So, let's go meet the, well, the source of these roots. And here we are. It's a big, massive plant. Also known as Plant 42. easy. So now that the plant is dead, now you don't have to kill it but I'm gonna kill it anyway. We get the mansion key from the fireplace. So let's check the mansion key and see what it is. This is the helmet key so now we can go back into the mansion and unlock some more doors. Now the reason that I killed the plant was because that we can unlock these double doors because remember we couldn't get back in well we can't we couldn't enter from this side so you know I thought I'd kill it anyway because I know you guys like to see boss fights oh now we have a cutscene oh it's Wesker. Wesker hey we haven't seen you Jill so you're safe where the hell have you been that's what I was going to say where on earth have you been? Yeah, you classic. Disappeared in the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Alright, Wesker. I'll see you later. Well, good to know that Wesker's safe and it looks like he's been having trouble with these hornets. So we'll just stomp on them for him. Okay, so all we need to do now is um, try and find Chris and make sure that he's safe. Right, so now I can start putting half this stuff away. So I'll put the bazooka away. I will put the flame rounds away. Put the explosive rounds away. I will put the acid rounds and the mixed herbs away. I will also, for the first time, actually like to bring out the shotgun and replace it with, with my handgun because it has now gotten to that point ladies and gentlemen why do I need the shotgun now well I'll tell you in a minute but for right now I'm gonna pick a single green herb and use it so I can heal myself there we go we are fully healed we're gonna be using our, our shotgun and well, off we go back to the mansion. Return to the mansion. So, what do you think we'll find there now that we have the armor, sorry, the helmet key? Oh yeah, I didn't even kill these dogs. Well, to hell with it, I'm not wasting my shotgun shells on them. Whoa. Oh, that was lucky. Right, well in the meantime we've just got to go back and avoid these snakes again, since there's no other way back to the mansion. Oh yeah, that's right, we actually killed these dogs here because these were the dogs that almost killed me. Oh, 
Okay, now let's go start exploring these other rooms. But there's a cutscene. I can definitely tell that that's not a zombie arm. Oh, these things. Now this is why I brought the shotgun. Because these things are now going to start getting into the mansion. I can't remember their names actually. They're not lickers, you know, because they appear in the second one. Is it leapers or something? I can't remember. But anyway, let's see what's in this room. Oh, magnum rounds. Okay, now we're getting some ammo for a good gun. We got a doom book. Jesus, what is it with all these books? Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. And just for the hell of it, I'll turn off, off the light, you know? Got to save that electricity. In the meantime, let's examine this doom book and we will find a medal inside. It's the Eagle Medal. But we won't actually need to use it until much later in the game. Okay, now all I have to do is um, remember or try and remember where the hell I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's a note here. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Barry. Oh, thanks, Barry. Okay. Oh, okay. Very nice. Right, so he's left some shotgun shells, which we will need. Left us a first aid spray, which I probably won't use, but I'll stick it in the box anyway. And we got some acid rounds as well. Very nice. So thanks, Barry. I'll be using not all of them, but some of those. Uh, acid rounds, there we go. Right, so we'll combine these. And 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 we'll put things away in the box. There we are, empty space for the first aid spray and the Eagle Medal. Okay, reload the shotgun and well, nothing else to do but uh, hold on, wait a minute. Let me just think here. Right. Let's go up to the second floor. Right. Okay, right. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, there's one of those things. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I don't know. That other one better not come towards me. Okay, right, he's dead. Right, now I want to go... In fact, yeah. Let's go down this hallway. Ow. Yeah, you need to be careful with these things. Because these things can kill you in one hit if you're... Oh, Jill, shoot! Jill, shoot him! No, don't... Oh, You see, that's why these things are dangerous. Because these things can actually jump and do a slash attack. And... If you're very un unlucky, they will kill you in one hit. Now, I'm just going to use the helmet key on that door so that I can actually go in there just in case if I come across a door and I end up getting rid of the key, you know? So that way I, I can come back down here and get some items, which I'm actually going to do because look at my health, I'm down in the orange. Talk about annoying orange. Just use a single green herb. There we go. 
It's kind of weird how that sometimes whenever you use a single green herb, um, sometimes it'll fully restore your health and sometimes it'll restore about 50% of your health. Right, so in the meantime, I want to go back to the left-hand side of the mansion. I know there's going to be some of these things in here. Uh, why am I going in this room? This room has nothing of importance whatsoever anymore. So yeah, as you probably... Well, if you haven't guessed now, all of the zombies are now re replaced by these uh, creatures. There, now you see how you like it if you can't get a chance to attack. Better reload the gun here because this is a dangerous hallway because, yeah. Ha, well, I shot him. Got him. Gotcha. Now I want to use the helmet key here and there we go we can get rid of it oh this room right okay yeah I remember this room right this is actually where we get the red jewel oh we got some orders but they're definitely not for us hmm okay Looks like someone has actually wanted us lured here. Hmm, by the UC, which is actually the Umbrella Corporation. Hmm, okay. So, who would want to lure us here? Anyway, there's the red jewel. You get it by pushing these stairs close to the um, deer head and then you switch off the light and then you get it that way. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the light off, you know, save electricity. Uh, that door back there we still can't get in yet. Um, yeah, we actually want to come down here because this way leads to the tiger head. In the meantime, we shall come in here and put away our magnum rounds. So hopefully we should be getting a magnum very soon. Yeah, just put them here. I'll keep the red jewel because we will need it because the tiger head room's not far. Gotcha. I tell you, these guys are not very smart, are they? Okay, right. Nothing's coming up that way. Hold it. Ha! Did you really think I'm that stupid? Even though that I just got a big claw swipe. <laughs> I've always remembered of the one jumping out that little corridor. Right, okay, so now we can use the red jewel on the other tiger eye. You know, like the eye of the tiger is the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our rival. And we get the magnum, you know. I have this. So there we go, that is all the goodies that this tiger statue has to offer. However, I'm not going to be using the... Uh, Magnum, in fact, what's it called in this one? Ah, uh, Magnum, okay. It just because I think in the PS1 version, 
It's known as the Colt Python. But I'm not going to use the Magnum right now. I'm going to wait until much, 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 much later in the game. Preferably near the end. So this won't be getting taken out until near the end of the game. Right, so where do I want to go next? Yeah, yeah I want to go back. Right, okay, right. I know exactly where I, I want to go. I want to go back to that other room that I unlocked with the helmet key. So for now I will restore my health and I will actually take out the bazooka again. Uh, I'll leave the flame rounds but I'll bring the acid rounds and the explosive rounds and I'll take a mixed herb. In fact, take as much mixed herbs as I can. Because we're actually going to be fighting another boss. And it's one that we've seen before. But I never actually had the chance to introduce my guns to it. I want to come down this way because hopefully that other monster will... Yep, there we are. See? He's on the other side, so I'll probably just avoid this one. Right, I think I killed the ones here. I can't remember. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Well, it don't matter. Okie dokie. Let me just equip my bazooka. Come over here, into this door, and time to meet an old friend. But before we do that, Let's have Jill play on the piano again since she was so she was so so Sean Connery since she was so good at it last time. It's the snake. Remember the snake? As you can see, he looks a bit damaged because I think what you're actually supposed to do is um, actually fight him. Now, I think this time. The snake's lost his ability to poison you. So, you don't have to worry about him trying to poison you. Okay, now I want to combine my acid rounds with the bazooka. Oh, better heal up. And there we go. The snake is dead for good. So I can swap back to the shotgun. Whew. Now, can I... Yes, I can. Good. Because I want to... put some stuff away in the item box. Because, well... I don't think I'll be using the bazooka anymore, I hope. You know, it'll just be the shotgun from here on out. I may swap back to the bazooka, but... Yeah, we'll see. Right, put everything away, even the mixed herbs. There we go. Now, if I remember right, I think the snake actually broke a hole in the floor, so we shall go and inspect that. So, let's see where this leads. Too dark to see anything. Oh, hi Barry. 
Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. You really want me to go down there and check by myself? And it's too dark? Jesus, Barry. Can you not give me a light or something? Uh, hey, what's going on? Barry. Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? <sighs> Great. Well, there's actually two things you can do here. You can either go behind you and open up a little thing there, but I'm not going to go there. Or you can just wait for Barry to come by and get the rope. I'm actually going to wait for Barry to get the rope. Because we will actually get something if we do wait. Luckily, he doesn't take that long. Hey! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! Thank you, Barry. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. And we get the pass number. This is the number that we need to get into that other door. Remember? The one where we needed the pass Thank key. You. I'll take this then. Thank you, Barry. Okay, so let's go find that door that we need to use the pass key on, shall we? Which is over on the left hand side of the mansion. So I will just cut across by going over the main hall. Ha! You missed! Alright, so we're back in the balcony above the dining room. I, I want to go this way so I can avoid that one. So yeah, re re remember the, 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 the remember the door that was over here. Well, this is where we can use the passkey. Luckily, we don't have to input the passkey ourselves. Right, there's nothing here, but I can see some spots of green blood. Eh, yeah, what the hell? I'll just avoid you. If I need to blow your face off with a shotgun, I will. Like that. I tell you, I am just so damn good with a shotgun. If there's any two guns that I'm very good at, it's a shotgun and a sniper rifle. Okay, so we'll get some herbs there in case we need to heal ourselves, which is good. Oh, damn it. Right, can I avoid you then? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, what have we got in here? Well, we've got an item that we need. We need the battery. Which we will be able to move one of the elevators in the courtyard. Because there's actually two. One of them doesn't work. Ha! You missed. Right, anything down here? Oh, yeah, some... Well, a single green herb. There's a zombie down that way, but I want to check in here. <laughs> Headshot. Oh, yeah, it's this room. Right, okay. Right, so what's in this desk? Oh, magnum rounds. Oh, you had to... Um, 
Alright, I'll tell you what. We'll combine two greens then. Because I want those magnum rounds. Right, oh yeah, there's actually something hiding behind here. Because, well, the map's showing it. Right, so what goodies do we have? Uh, to be honest, I don't really think I'll be needing any handgun bullets. Ink ribbons, I've got plenty. So, yeah. I'll just leave them. I wanna connect. Oh, okay, right, so we've got a scrapbook. Again, you can pause the video if you want to read it. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, to hell, I'll just avoid you. I'm not wasting a shotgun shell on you. Right, so what's in this room? Oh, this room, right, yeah, I, re I remember this room. Okay, uh... Push that. Now, you don't have to push that switch, but what you're supposed to do is move... Hold on, yeah. We need to move this statue all the way over to where that light is shining. And one of the bookcases will move away, revealing a little hidden thing, a wee hidden desk. And on that desk, hold on. Yeah, I'll just use one of these green herbs because I know I got attacked. We'll get an ammo disc. We actually, no, sorry, I'll, I'll scratch that. You don't need the ammo discs, but they are required if you want to get the good ending. Okay. Luckily for you, I know where all three are. So that is one out of three. Oh, damn it. I was kind of hoping to get to the left before the zombie got me. So, where does this lift lead? Well, it leads us to a place that we've not actually been yet in the mansion. And the last room of the mansion that we will ever actually explore. Whoa, hold it. A zombie there. I'll just knife him so I can save some bullets. There we go. Right, I don't think there's anything special in here that we can take, I don't think. No, okay. Right, so let's go in this room. Oh, wait, hold on. Love from the other side. Right, now, remember the hole that we fell down and Barry had to go and get a, a rope? If you went the way that I was, well, if you went the way that I showed you, there was a wee, like, well, I didn't actually show you, but there was a wee gravestone in that hole. If you uh, went down that gravestone, you would end up in that hallway that's all grey. Okay, that big, massive hallway. Oh, we got a cutscene. Hmm. Oh, something's trying to get in, and it's getting in. But what is it? It's a zombie. Who never even had a chance. I told you, the big Gondor 1990 is absolutely deadly with a shotgun. And now we are back in this room. Oh, damn it. Damn it, no. Joe, just run, 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 run. Forget it, forget it, forget it. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, okay, right, so we're safe in the dining room. Right, well, <laughs> I think that's going to be all, ladies and gentlemen. I've been recording for quite a while now, so... Next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Deadly Silence, we will head back out into the courtyard, fix one of these elevators, and see what we can do from there. So, I'll see you guys then.